Hey, what's up, Internet? Evan here again. I'm really sorry to have to make another video about this. I kind of like to <gasps> review games on my YouTube game review channel, go figure. But Kmart is once again proving that they are the shit splattered septic tank of the retail world, and I thought, given the response I got last time, that you all might like to hear about how they fucked up today. So, as of this morning, I have not only been banned from posting on their Facebook wall, I've also been told that my case is closed. That second point in particular kind of surprises me since they haven't done a single goddamn thing to fix any of the issues I presented them, but after I thought about it I realized it's really not that surprising at all. If you ever walk into a Kmart, not that I would ever advise you to do that, and you're brutally gang raped by a pack of managers and then charged for the pleasure and then you go outside and finally they cut your brakes, don't be surprised. They're the fucking devil. Now to be fair, I did post a rather strongly worded, with no cursing mind you, letter on their Facebook while asking them to resolve my issue, and I took a similar tone in the email I sent asking them to please not make me drive the hour and a half back to Bloomington after I'd already done that once. But again, there was no cursing, I kept things pretty professional, and all I was doing was expressing my displeasure with their shit business practices. Apparently that's enough to get them to cut all contact even though they basically stole $500 from me or frauded me out of it or whatever term. But still, it's awful because again, they're the fucking devil. And the thing is, I run a business. Uh, my, my business has clients that are far bigger than Kmart in some cases. When I screw up, I give them the work for free. If they don't need that work for free, I will do something else for them for free. That's what I do to keep my clients happy. That's called good business. Kmart doesn't care about that. Mostly because they've apparently switched to some sell model where they sell poor people things on credit and then hound them to death when they miss their payments. You're all going to hell, Kmart, which makes sense because you're the fucking devil. My customer satisfaction rates have to be way higher than Kmart's because in my entire time doing what I do, I've had one client walk away unsatisfied with my service. Think about that, Kmart. One client. I'm just one dude who shopped at your store for the first time in probably 10 fucking years on a whim and I've blown so much time trying to exchange a defective product that is covered by your return period, I'm losing sleep over it. What the fuck is your problem? Oh yeah, you're the devil. And just before some internet comedy master says it, yes, my service is a gay male prostitution thing. That's exactly it. I'm a gay male prostitute. Thanks for calling me on it. You're a comedy genius. I also wanted to clarify a few things from the comment section from the previous video since apparently a whole bunch of you are really fucking dumb. No, I did not arbitrarily drive an hour and a half away to buy it in the first place. Uh, I'm not stupid. I was in Bloomington visiting friends, the Xbox was kind of hard to find at the time, and I figured, hey, what the hell, I will buy it at this store that has it in stock, which might shock you, I guess, if you're an idiot, but please rest assured I didn't drive totally out of my way to do something I could have done right at home. I'll also note that I talked to my sales rep when I bought the fucking Xbox, just like all the other reps I talked to, he said I would have no trouble returning it whatsoever at any of their stores if I had trouble within the return period. Two, yes, I am aware that the return policy does not specifically say video game consoles. However, the return policy does not specifically include Xbox Ones. Using all the idiots who said this logic, they would have to list every item that I can return in order for that to work. As it sits, my situation was completely, totally, utterly covered by the return policy up until the point the Kmart manager in Bloomington refused to take my return. That is why I went to the social media people because I was out of the return period at that point because the store screwed up. What I would advise you to do in the future before passing judgment or making a comment that makes no sense, think. Why would I drive an hour and a half to buy something for no reason? Why would I go to a store without a receipt? I do have the receipt. Why would I do any of this stuff? You build an image in your head before you really start to think of why it doesn't make sense and all you do is make yourself look like a bigger idiot than I do online. Because unlike you, I have a solid case. You're just an angry person that's so fucking passionate about Kmart, you want to get shitty with somebody online. Yes, I do have a receipt. I'm sorry I didn't show it in the first video. That was an error. However, rest assured that is there. I posted images of it online. I'm not doing it again because I don't care to prove myself to you all any more than I already have. For those of you who are still with me, I've still got two final bits of site business and then I'm done. The first is that we are going to start reviewing Xbox One content as well, which I'm super excited about. The Xbox I have still works, it just kind of takes forever to put the discs in and out and make it work. Uh, the first game we're going to be reviewing is the downloadable content for Call of Duty Ghost that just came out. I believe it's called Onslaught. We're going to have that tonight, tomorrow, maybe a uh, day after that at the very latest. Uh, we're shooting for one to two reviews a week from now on. We're still going to have the mobile stuff as well. So don't worry about that, we'll still have iPad and Nexus game reviews as they come. Finally, I'm having a lot of trouble getting my camera to center up on my television for these Xbox reviews. If you look at this picture here, that's kind of straight, 
the TV comes off as totally crooked, no matter how I adjust the tripod and the viewing angle and the legs. So I'm hoping maybe somebody with a little more camera expertise than me, and that means any camera expertise at all, can help. If you can, shoot me a private message or post on the wall. I'd be sincerely appreciative of any help you can offer. Thank you all for watching this. I'm super excited about the interest the channel's been getting recently, and please let me know what you think, just like last time. Even if I don't think your opinion's valid, I'll be sure to call you an idiot for it. Thanks for your time, folks. Bye.